呃，台湾断交以后啊，呃，整个我们的这个安全的关系、军事的关系、呃，政治的关系、外交的关系都会发生非常严重的问题。呃，所以假如我们从台湾的这个历史角度来看，呃，过去呃这个差不多七十多年来，可以分成两部分，一部分就是七九年以前，呃，美国跟所谓的。啊，有这个啊正式的邦交的关系，同时又有啊这个呃、啊、mutual defense 啊 treaty 啊就是共同啊协防的这个条约，所以我们的国际地位跟这个安全啊,啊可以说啊得到美国正式条约的这个保障，但是七九年以后啊就非常不一样，特别是我们退出联合国。呃，在七二年，呃，退出联合国以后，这个情况就更严严重。呃，所以呃，在这个呃七十多年的历史当中，后半段，啊、呃，我觉得啊、呃，我们啊、呃、依赖这个呃美国的这个所谓的这个国内法，啊、呃，差不多有这种国际条约性质的国内法啊的呃保障啊，在政治上跟安全上非常重要。呃，那么今天呢？呃，我们就有三位啊、呃、专家啊，呃，来啊、呃、为我们分析这个问题。今天的研讨会可以说啊、呃、分成两两半啊，上半场就是啊、呃、强调啊、呃、对这个呃呃台湾关系法的分析跟回顾啊、呃，那么下半场呢啊、呃、就看在这个乱世当中呢啊、呃、我们台湾的机会跟挑战啊、呃，我想这个对我们来讲是台湾。啊，非常重要的生存的问题，啊，那么我们跟美国的关系啊，过去怎么样？那将来展望啊，我们怎么样才能够加强，也是一个非常啊重要的意义。啊，那么今天呢，啊，我想我们很幸运的有三位专家了。那么这个跟我们今天的这个 sponsor 啊，这个呃、啊、会议的呃呃、啊、研讨会的这个呃 sponsor 啊也有关系。那么。在我右边呢是这个呃台湾新世纪呃文教基金会，那么陈教授啊啊对这方面的问题啊非常专家，呃另外这边是呃这个呃陈呃一奇呃先生呢、啊，他是呃这个呃基进党的这个主席，那么呃他国际经验、国际学术的经验跟国内国内的政治运动更是非常的呃这个。呃呃，独行，呃，所以我们很幸运。但是更幸运的是，我们今天呢、啊，有一位真正很难得的这个专家啊，就是呃，这个 William Stanton 啊、呃，司徒文，就是叫你司徒文先生还是司先生？司徒，哦，司徒，呃，司徒，啊，司徒大使，啊、呃，那么，呃，这个我为什么强调这个司徒大使是非常非常的这个特别啊？他在学术上，当然他有他的博士学位，这个，呃，这个在，呃，这个啊 f o r d h a m 纽约的 f o r d h a m 还有这个啊 ，North Carolina 啊，啊的这个啊博士学位，后来这个进这个啊美国国务院啊做这个外交的工作。那么他这个国务院的经验呢，不只是说在美国啊，同时在东非，在非非洲。啊，都有相当久的经验。那么在最近这个呃十几年来，他主要是在啊、呃、亚洲，啊、呃、在 Australia， 啊、呃、然后在韩国，啊、呃、然后最后他的这个外交的生涯啊就在台湾啊、呃、结束。啊，中国辽宁在北京。哦哦哦，对对，北京。啊<笑>、okay. 呃，所以两岸的问题他都是酷的，啊、呃，应该遇到。OK， 很酷啊，这个经验非常的的这个多。那么更更特别的是，平常外交官退休以后就回美国去，但是他这个就是我们怎么说啊？这个热爱台湾 ，fall in love 台湾，所以这个退休以后啊，他就继续留在台湾。那么在清华大学啊当过教授，当过副校长啊。那么目前呢是在台大啊国际啊。关系学院啊、呃，当教授，呃，那么这个是真的是所有的外交官呢，啊、呃，我认得的大概只有两三个欧洲
，有些外交官就继续待在台湾。啊，那么我们这个呃，师徒大使啊，啊，真的是很不容易。所以今天我不要花太多时间了，啊，让这三位专家啊，先由这个啊，师徒大使来做这个啊，专题的这个分析。啊，然后呢？啊，我们有两位女团员 ，OK。那现在我们欢迎，热烈欢迎石头大师，谢谢。呃，谢谢高博士，呃，大师，呃，给我那么好的呃介绍，呃。你们都应该原谅我，因为我开始学习中文，我已经三十九岁，所以，我本来的时候没有那么聪明，以后，三十九岁我更笨，所以我的中文的进步是很慢，所以我就可以一点，啊、呃，所以我说英文，啊、呃，呃，宋教授他他翻译。有一点，所以还有你有那个大部分我的 slides 你都有，所以啊、um, ，anyway， 各位贵宾啊，同事、朋友、啊，女士、先生 ，I should start. Uh, today is the uh, or actually the tenth of this month、It、was the fortieth anniversary of the Taiwan Relations Act, so it's an important time to think. What did the Taiwan Relations Act accomplish?、Um, but moreover, where do we go from here? 四月十号是台湾呃台湾呃台湾关系法四十周年的一个纪念日。那我们我们要检讨一下它完成了什么，并且未来会带来更什么。Um, what's important to understand is, in many ways, the Taiwan Relations Act, as well as the six assurances given to Taiwan. We're a way of compensating and correcting mistakes inherent in the so-called three communiques. 那么很重要的理解是说，台湾关系法跟六项保证，那么很重要是为要补偿台湾或是纠正过去的错误。It's very clear from the historical record two things. One, everybody thought that there were going to be long-term Benefits from our relationship with China, and everybody thought that Taiwan was probably going to disappear of its own accord. These mistakes are in three communiques. What mistakes? The first one is that the U.S. thinks that Taiwan will have a long-term relationship with China. The second one is that Taiwan will be taken over by China as a part of it. These assumptions were totally wrong, so it's a great thing that they were corrected by the Taiwan Relations Act. 那各位都知道这两个前提假设都是错误的，所以很重要就是啊，台湾关系法要来纠正这样的错误。下一次，可以，可以，呀，啊，你 went too far， 可以 ，no go back， yeah， um， there are many assumptions that were made about China and Taiwan。That have proven to be wrong, and more and more we see, particularly in the last couple of years, more and more Americans recognize the fact. First of all, the、uh, Kissingerian Nixon geostrategic strategic argument that uh, this would uh, divide Russia or the Soviet Union and China that proved to be, in the long run, totally wrong. 那么怎么样的错误呢？第一个是说基辛格跟尼克森想的战略，认为说可以连中制恶。那么这个证明是错误的。And Kissinger assumed we were going to make progress on a range of regional,、uh, bilateral, international issues, but in fact, over the years, cooperation has been almost nil on any important matters. 美中关系正常化，本来他们也想说去处理一些双边的议题，比如说越南、北韩，还有伊朗等等。后来也发现这些议题其实没有那么重要。The liberalization argument that is, if we opened up trade with China, that China would become the modernization theory, that Taiwan would become more democratic, that also be proved to be totally untrue, particularly with the arrival of Xi Jinping. 那么另外一个想法就是说，美中交往之后，美呃中国会变成比较自由化、比较民主化，啊、呃、，follow 那个台湾的这个路径。结果现现在证明是错误，特别是习近平上来之后
But Clinton liked to use it, I know, because I was in the State Department at the time, because nobody wants to say, oh, we want trade because big business wants to do business there. But in fact, um, a lot of businesses didn't succeed, and not everybody succeeded equally. For example, um, as many as three million Americans lost employment as a result of our relationship with China. 另外一个想法是说美中关系正常化之后，美国的企业可以得利。但是后来发现美国企业在中国不是所有都是成功，那成功也只是少数。那么，而且因为这样子，美国自己内部有三百万人多人失业。The U.S. also we greatly underestimated the weaknesses within China, but also we greatly uh, underestimated its future belligerence. 另外就是美国低估了中国的。在经济上、政治上所遇到的困难，特别是中国跟美国敌对的这种可能性，也被弥补。Over the years, I've increasingly understood why a Japanese diplomat said to me, "We hope China continues to develop and never becomes developed." 日本外交官常跟我开玩笑说，我们都希望中国会继续发展，可是它就是永远都还在继续发展。And most of all, America totally underestimated. The Taiwan's ability to transform itself into a modern, prosperous democracy. And just last night, I gave a talk about what I call Taiwan the modern miracle, um, because of so much that it's accomplished that many Taiwanese don't even realize. 昨天晚上我给了一个演讲，叫做《台湾现代的奇迹》。我们太多时候都太低估台湾所自台湾自己创造的奇迹。Next slide, please. Um, in fact, all three communiques, in retrospect, are very much, I think, the right word, you know, for relics. They're they're sort of the ruins of the Cold War that are still exist. Um. And, you know, Blumenthal and Shriver, who were two strong supporters of Taiwan, they wrote an article where they said, it is hard to think of another set of relationships still governed by joint communiques from the Cold War. That's what these are. They're relics of the Cold War. Well, I'm not going to read the Shanghai Communique. Rather, I'm just going to, in the next slide, talk about what's wrong with it. Okay? The biggest thing that surprises, surprised me when, when I came to AIT and I began reading the communiques um, and just look at the objectively, what do they say? I realized that the central statement in the Shanghai Communique has no factual basis. Because the Communique is premised on the argument that all Chinese on either side of the Taiwan Strait maintain there is but one China and that Taiwan is a part of China. Now that was true, certainly, uh, for Mao. It was certainly true for Chiang Kai-shek. But nobody asked during the Cultural Revolution, the people of Taiwan, uh, the people of, uh, of China, what do you think? And nobody asked the Taiwanese people. 这个也许对于毛泽东或蒋介石是正确，但是没有人问问台湾人民的意见，或是中国人民的意见。But of course it came about because nobody wanted to refer to the Taiwan government. 因为但是他是这样子写，是因为他不想要提到台湾政府。So every time we say three communiques, the U.S. government, we're basically reiterating something that's just factually inaccurate. 所以每次每次提到美中三公报，其实我们要记得说，第一个公报它的事实基础是没有的。Next one. The second communique, um, you know, is very flawed because it never meant the same thing for either side. It's a little bit like um, the 92 consensus. You can't have a consensus if one side says it means one China, and the other side says it means one China, different interpretations. But the United States 
try to fuzz the issue by acknowledging, acknowledging the Chinese position that there's one China and Taiwan is part of China. 那么他的语句是说，美国政府认知中国的立场是只有一个中国，而台湾是中国的一部分。But this so-called one China policy was never, as China always implies, China's one China principle, because when you say acknowledge things, I always give the example: I may acknowledge that you think I'm crazy, but that doesn't mean I agree with you. 那么什么叫做认知呢? 可能举个例子说, 我认知你认为我是疯子, so Washington intentionally didn't use the word recognizes, use it intentionally um, as China had wished, but the Chinese version of the text, they use it. They say chunren, which we never use, because one of the mistakes which is is a fundamental divide is they said the Chinese version would be okay for China and the English version would be okay for the United States, but they're not the same. So he saw that in one song has your children to do so what you don't then to what I don't turn it. That's it. He was on time. I don't want to turn it. So you do you in when I saw me was so okay. So I saw what you know is okay. So that's not a little bit. Yeah. So, um, the other thing is we have to look at is the Taiwan Relations Act, particularly when it responds to the second communique. It makes clear in many ways that emphasis is on peace. Yet there was language by the United States about peaceful means of a solution, which we don't emphasize enough nowadays. And second of all, that nothing that would happen between cross-strait relations should contravene human rights, especially with regard to the human rights of the Taiwanese people. 另外两个现在比较不受强调的是说，他强调说两岸的问题应该用和平方式来解决，并且应该尊重台湾人民的人权。Now, obviously, Clinton, who was the one who introduced human rights into U.S. foreign policy, about the time my my early years in the foreign service. He, it was his way of saying, okay, we're going to have relations with China, but we're going to emphasize human rights. Also, we made it clear from our position that the U.S. will, that means not should, it's not, it's not encouraging, but says will, it's a definitive statement, provide uh, arms to China for self-defense. 另外在这边提到说美国会,美国将会决定要对台湾提供防御性的武器. Okay, next one. One of the things that the TRA also did, besides emphasizing human rights, uh, emphasizing peaceful means, many people don't realize how important it was that it set up um, AIT. Because originally, the White House had no plans. Even though there were thousands of Americans living here, there was an American school, um, there was a huge amount of commerce and trade already. How were we going to conduct relations? It was like it didn't matter as long as we had our communiques. So they established AIT. Very important. This is what the new $256 million AIT looks like. 那么另外一个现在不受强调的是台湾关系法建立了美国在台协会那这个是现在的新的这个馆它非常的昂贵的造价那这是说当时我们没有想到说还好有这个机制是说因为美国跟台湾关系非常的密切包括外侨包括学校
Taiwanese encouraged him. He agreed to the six assurances. 那么，其实为了要去让他第三个公报不会那么错误，那个美国雷根总统把他原来去呃海格的这个国务卿给 fire 掉，然后去做了六项保证来证明说台湾呃美国对台湾还是有安全的保证。Now the irony is that when Al Haig left the State Department when he was fired by uh by President Reagan, he joined United Technologies. And at that time, he was trying to sell Sikorsky helicopters both to Taiwan and to China. 那么海格被这个从国务卿移开以后，他到了科技公司，其实就是对于分别对中国以及对台湾卖武器。Okay, and then the six assurances, you know, reinforce this this view that we want to be helpful to Taiwan and we're not going to negotiate Taiwan's future with China. 那么第六项六项保证中间，各位可以看内容，基本上就是美国会说他会认真的执行，呃，跟台湾的关系，并且说不会出卖台湾。So in case to just summarize, it's clear that the history, the substance of the U.S. agreements and policies toward Taiwan indicated in the three communiques are are not so simple and can't be explained by just saying one China. 那么，所以我们看这个图非常复杂，也就是他，我们先用这个图来说明说，三项美中公报说其实都是没有那么的简单。那么简单来说，就是说这是有一中原则。You just go back a second.、Um, so the big question now is, what does the U.S. do now at this time in history with this kind of very flawed historical diplomatic history behind us? 如果说在历史上外交上有这些错误的话，现在问题就是说，美国现在可以怎么做？ Yeah. In the previous cartoon, it said by honoring the One China policy, we can move towards our real priorities. And of course, South China Sea trade, North Korea,、um, currency manipulation, none of those things have been solved. So, you see, you see, we have one common goal, and we can solve all the problems. But the problem is the trade problem, or the trade problem, or the North Korean problem, or the North Korean problem, or the North Korean problem. So you say one China policy and it doesn't solve anything, and the problem is we don't know if that's what President Trump thinks. That's why I say one China policy actually doesn't solve anything, because we don't know what President Trump thinks. Now, early on, there were not as soon as it should have been, but as early as 2008, there were not as soon as it should have been, but as early as 2002. Congress began to act to say we have to do things to change the nature of the relationship, and a big decision. This is the Congressional Act. It was in the Foreign Relations Authorization Act, which said active diplomats and active military officers. Although it didn't say military, but when you say the head of any other department or agency may detail an employee to AIT. That began to happen earlier for the State Department after 2002, but it didn't happen until 2005 for the Pentagon. 那么其实美国逐渐近年来逐渐在改变过去的政策，比如说2002年的这个外交这个重塑外交授权法，就是说，呃，先是对国务院，然后后来是对2005年开始对于这个呃国防部说可以派呃官员，就是他的这个先现任的官员来处理台美的关系。So in the late 80s, when I came here, I had to hand over my diplomatic passport and sign an agreement that I was no longer in the foreign service, as if the Chinese were ever going to see the agreement. And I got then another agreement that I would be reinstated at the end of my tour,、um, studying ten months of Chinese. We no longer go through any of that. You know, I couldn't use my diplomatic passport coming here. Uh, but I didn't have to hand it over, like a criminal. Yeah. So, so in the law, what does it mean? It's for the U.S. and Taiwan to be non-governmental relations. So, for them, in the law, to be recognized in AIT, they need to have a diplomatic passport to enter Taiwan. Yeah. And particularly ironic is that the U.S. and Taiwan have a diplomatic passport to enter Taiwan. Yeah. And particularly ironic is that the U.S. and Taiwan have a diplomatic passport to enter Taiwan. Yeah. And particularly ironic is that the U.S. and Taiwan have a diplomatic passport to enter Taiwan. Yeah. And particularly ironic is that the U.S. and Taiwan have a diplomatic passport to enter Taiwan. Yeah. And particularly ironic is that the U.S. and Taiwan have a diplomatic passport And we were trying to be purer than the pure. But we found that other countries didn't have this kind of strict rule. They had to have a diplomatic passport to enter Taiwan. And my own contribution to starting to use diplomatic passports to enter Taiwan was to make Taiwan look more like Taiwan. And my own contribution to starting to you know make Taiwan more recognizably an American government institution 
was to change the old AIT sign, which is in the middle, which I think Doug Paul did, great fan of the Guomindang. Um, and I put the American flag back in. And I also, for the first time, I flew the American flag over AIT. And I got uh, Mr. Armitage's help with that. Am I going too slow? Um, the other thing is you should recognize is um, one thing Taiwan should do, that was a step in the right direction. But there are still many self-imposed restrictions Washington lawyers thought up to prove that we're really halting diplomatic relations with China, which of course we didn't really do. We just called them unofficial. 另外一个是, so you see, we used to get do's and don'ts. I don't know if they still do, but when I came out, say Taiwan, but don't use Republic of China, which is kind of contradictory in a way. I wonder if Ma Yingjiu knew that. And don't re do, do, do use economy, island, area, or jurisdiction, but don't refer to it as a country. Well, that's stupid. Because if you're speaking English and you're referring to Taiwan, it's just abnormal. Not at some point, you're not going to refer to it as an area. You know, you're going to say, well, in this country. So that's what I used to do, and nobody ever really noticed, I guess. They weren't, by that time, they weren't as uh, restrictive about it. But um, I don't know, what, we'll see in a few minutes. More recent legislation says we have to review the guidelines for how you behave in Taiwan. Congress wants us to do that in accordance with the fact that Taiwan is a friend, it's a partner, it, you know, it's a democracy and we have to give it respect. 那么各位现在看到就是他有他给外交人员的有说可以做什么不可以做什么，比如说可以叫不可以呃可以叫台湾不能叫呃ROC，把台湾可以叫可以叫一个岛或是一个地区，但是不能叫台湾是一个国家。
and it was never observed in any case. So stop it. China can refer to it. Okay. We should refer, as we're doing more and more in Congress, to the Taiwan Relations Act and the Six Assurances. 另外一个美国可以做的是，不要把三个公报当成圣经一样，一直的去提它。因为我们刚刚你讲，它有许多的缺陷，中国可以提它，但是美国可以不要。我们可以更多的提到美国呃台湾关系法以及六项保证。One more, um, go back.、Uh, yeah, the other thing is Clinton was the one who changed during his visit. I was in Beijing at the time in '98. He changed the. I, he made declared the policy. He just declared it. That the U.S. would not support the admission of Taiwan into any international organization for which state、uh, for which statehood is a requirement. Now that contravenes the Taiwan Relations Act, which is law. It's not a presidential statement. It is law because that says nothing in this act may be construed as a basis for excluding、um, or expose, expelling Taiwan. From continued membership in any or international organization, so we should have never accepted it, and we should have fought harder. 另外一项错误是，比如说克林顿总统在九八年去呃中国访问的时候说不支持台湾加入以国家资格为要件的国际组织。其实这一件事情跟台湾关系法是相反的，是抵触的，因为台湾关系法有说不，台湾关系法中间规定不能够说要来排除台湾在国际会员。Uh, we should also unilaterally remind every time we talk about Taiwan that all of our agreements with China were predicated on a peaceful resolution. And every time they threaten Taiwan, we should remind them of what they agreed to with their own words in the communiques. 另外一项，我们美国可以做的是提醒中国说，美国对于这些文件的前提是说，要对台湾的问题要和平解决。We should also relax restrictions unilaterally on where Taiwanese diplomats can go in U.S. government buildings.、Um, we've had terrorists come into the State Department when we were negotiating with them. I mean, yes, Arafat was there. Jerry Adams from the IRA in Ireland. So Taiwanese diplomats ought to be able to go in. 另外，像美国可以做的去松绑台湾官员进入，比如说国务院去参访的事情。比如说，在过去跟这个被认为国际组织，比如说阿拉法特或是 Jerry Adams， 就是 IRA 的人，他们都可以进国务院。台湾官员更没有理由不能进国务院。Many other things are already obvious, but are being reinforced by congressional resolutions. Support for Taiwan's defense. Prioritize getting a free trade agreement. I hope the fact that we have a deputy assistant secretary、uh, in charge of commercial relations visiting right now that will help. I'm going to try to talk to him.、Um, we should resist more strongly support efforts、um, against, you know, China's effort to change, make the name of Taiwan disappear. You know, everything has to refer to Republic of.、Uh, To it as part of China. 那么另外其他事情，台湾可以呃，美国可以做的是说呃，加强跟台湾之间国防合作，加强呃，台美之间的双边贸易、自由贸易协定。比如说现在那个国务院管商务的这个国务院呃，驻青就在台北访问，或者是说呃，呃，抱歉 ，sorry。Okay. Um, the other thing I would I would recommend is um That we should have high-level exchanges. It's been said numerable times now in various congressional resolutions, but I don't think we should advertise it. And it should always be at the discretion of Taiwan to decide, because it bears the greatest risk if there's a reaction from China.、Um, but I think we don't necessarily have to advertise everything we do. Send a high-level person. Don't talk about it. The main thing is to have higher-level contact. Both in Washington and here, so we could be more discreet about the same thing. We shouldn't announce ourselves to Taiwan. Just do it. We don't have to tell anybody. These close Taiwan cooperation, some things can be done, but you don't have to publicly announce it or say, for example, more weapons sales or more high-level contacts. Just do it. Don't say it. It's okay. I mean, China doesn't tell us when it's going to send a missile or nuclear technology to China. Next one. <laughs> Oh no! I'm sorry.、Um, remind, as I've already indicated, the PRC of its own words. 
particularly if you look at the 72 communique, I mean, it's like wherever there's oppression, there's resistance. Countries want independence. Nations want liberation. Okay, all nations, big or small, should be equal. Big nations should not bully the small, and strong nations should not bully the weak. China will never be a superpower, and it opposes hegemony and power politics of any kind. We should repeat this ad nauseum to the Chinese every time they do anything that puts pressure on Taiwan. These are their own words. You're bullying somebody. Don't do it. 另外可以做的是，我们可以提醒中国自己讲的话。在七二年的时候，他说中国绝对不会成为超级强权，不会说霸权，不会大欺小。那每次中国要欺凌、霸凌台湾的时候，就提醒他说：“你不是说你不会把
这些禁言的立法都没有再提到三公报，提到的是台湾关系法以及六项保证。And then recently, um, it was in January. I, there hasn't been any follow-up action, but Senator Gardner introduced legislation. Basically, if a country、um, lowers its relations level of relations with Taiwan or、uh, breaks diplomatic relations, the U.S. should do the same thing, put the same pressure on those countries as a disincentive. In other words, do unto others as they would do unto Taiwan. 今年六月，今年一月的时候 ，Gardner 参议员有提台北法，那未来可能再提出，也就是说，如果有其他国家降低跟台湾的外交关系的话，美国应该降低跟那个国家的外交关系。Yes. Um, we don't have to go through this. That, um, yeah, this one. Um,、uh, one of the most interesting ones, though, is the Taiwan Assurance Act to strengthen ties. Um, it's moved forward a little bit. I think it's now been submitted、uh, to the Senate, the full Senate, and the full House. But、um, urges Taiwan to increase its defense spending. It doesn't help Taiwan that its defense spending is still at about the two percent level.、Um, but second of all,、um, it again calls on、um, more military calls for the first time, I think, for joint military exercises. And it calls for the chief of the liaison affairs office at AIT, the, effectively the defense attaché, should be a flag or a general officer. In other words, an admiral or a general. And finally,、um, calls on the U.S. trade representative to resume meetings to get a free trade agreement. 另外就是最近提出来的台湾保证法，中间有几点值得注意。第一个是说要加强，呃，希望台湾加强自己的国防支出，而不是只限于百分之二的呃国防预算。另外就是说台美之间的呃联合军演，以及说 A I T 的武官可以有将官级或是海军将官级的武官，并且台美应该要赶快迅速加强他们双边贸易协定、自由贸易协定的这个协商。And it also calls for the president of the United States within six months of passage to review all the guidelines, the do's and don'ts for Taiwan, and then they should be crafted with the intent to deepen and expand U.S. relations and be based on the value, merits, and importance of the relationship. 那么他并且要求美国总统在这个法案通过六个月内要向国会提出报告，说要如何检讨台美关系、外交关系的这个 guideline。并且说，必须在这个必须，他这个未来的政策必须要加深台美关系之间的基于共同价值的合作。And because the Congress doesn't trust the White House, they say within six months of enactment, we want to see the new guidelines. Show us the proof. 所以基本上就是说，美国总统你要通过六个月之后，要交给国会说你怎么样改了现在的实践。You know, and it was a response in part by some of the senators. To the increasing aggression of China. 那么这个当然是说对于中国步步紧逼的一种回应。Yeah. So I conclude. It's clear to me the U.S. is becoming far more realistic about what China is and what our, you know, what threat represents. We're far more understanding of Taiwan's importance, both strategically but also as a symbol of democracy in the world.、Um, And we're far more frank, I think, now about U.S. interests and strategic interests, and also U.S. principles. So, we, 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 we A clear statement from the United States that until and unless China becomes a free and democratic country where rule of law and respect for human rights are fundamental principles,、um, we we don't support unification. And also the other condition, the Taiwan people have to want unification. <coughs> 所以，我们其实可以更进一步，比如说，各位手册第十三页下半段说，美国甚至可以说，除非中国变成一个民主、法治、尊重人权的国家，然后再来考虑统一问题，或者是还有说，台湾人民必须能接受统一，才有统一的问题。You know, until that day comes, I know forty percent of Taiwan's exports go to China or to China through Hong Kong, but I don't think China has that much to offer Taiwan. 
other than, you know, those people who are doing business and trade, that's important. But that's why I'd like to see Taiwan have a free trade agreement with the U.S. and with other countries, particularly with Japan. Meanwhile, we should state that a secure and democratic Taiwan is just as critical as peaceful cross-strait relations for a stable and secure Asia. 另外就是说台湾我们知道台湾跟中国好像有很紧密的贸易联系可是我们希望说台湾跟美国及日本有更深的贸易的联系并且我们应该要说一个安全的民主的台湾是对于台湾海峡的情势以及整个亚洲的情